There she is. About an hour late. Sorry, someone couldn't be asked to get off work early. Well, I would have if you'd given me a head notice. You gave me like a 10 minute notice. Well, I'm sorry for that. I want to say your name is Calvin. You haven't told your sister who I am? To be fair to me, I don't even know who you are. So how the hell am I going to be able to explain it to her? Uh, I don't like that attitude you're giving me, young lady. We're the same fucking age. Act like it. Calvin, why don't you head into the living room? My boyfriend should be in there just wasting his life in video games. Are you the new boyfriend? Uh, yeah, just about. <laughs> yeah, she's mean, ain't she? <laughs> More like deranged. Yeah, I know. I really hate her too. Hey, let me ask you something, Calvin. How do you get a restraining order on your girlfriend and still be able to live with them? Wait, what? So, what's wrong with him? He's a dick. He's mature. You need that in your life. Trust me. I don't. You do. That said, I've always been in your life, and you haven't learned a thing from me. So, mm, yeah, ignore the crap out of my lips. He's always bossing me around. No, he's like me telling you what not to do. That's not bossing anyone around. Plus, he's a Christian. Girl, you go to church. There ain't nothing wrong with that. He's a proper Christian. Like in... Like in he won't sleep with me before marriage? <laughs> it's not funny. Come on. You know it is. Laugh with me. <laughs> I need dick, sis. What you need is a man who respects you. And I'm telling you, that man will do the job. I don't think I want respect. I want someone who's dirty. Girl, when has someone dirty ever made you happy? They do sometimes. When have they ever made you happy? I know they have. Okay. Think for a moment. Okay, okay. They haven't. There you go. So maybe Calvin is the new approach you need to try out. But I know he won't make me happy. You find out by giving it a chance. But I know what the result will be. You think you know. It's not set in stone. Ugh, I hate it when you're right. Uh... Dude, you're staring at me. Mm, yeah, just trying to work out what would possess a man to want to date Brianna. Is she paying you big bucks? I bet that's it. <sighs> no, she's not paying me. And she's screwing you good at least? Uh, I'm a Christian. We don't do that. Really? So, if you declare yourself to be a Christian, you could really abstain yourself from having sex with someone. Um, you're weird and a tiny bit scary. Babe, I'm a Christian now. That means I can't screw you anymore. I'm not buying it. Damn, I really thought she would. Is there any other ways I could make my girlfriend hate me so I don't have to screw her ever again? Calvino! Um, I'm gonna walk away now. Come on, please, I really need your help here. I'm walking. Would a gazillion dollars change your mind? And do you know anyone who would offer me that loan? Calvino, answer me! Damn, I really thought I could help me. Hey, I just wanted to introduce myself properly to you. You don't have to do that. Most of Brianna's boyfriends just look past me. <laughs> Why the hell would I do that? You're... Wait, do I know you? You look familiar. I don't think I am. Oh, I do know you. You're the wonderful chef from Michelle's. You've been to my restaurant? <laughs> Not only have I been, but I've also reviewed it. Aw, did you enjoy the food? If I didn't, why would I spend every Saturday eating in there? Wow, <laughs> you've just made my day. Thank you. Can I, can I ask you this? What do you put in your pasta sauce? It's so rich and textured. A chef never reveals her secrets. Although, if you keep giving me that sexy look, <laughs> I might be tempted to. Oh, I really wish I could be as talented as you. You're so amazing. Why don't you just sleep with her? Don't you dare talk to him like that. And if you annoy me further, 
I just might. I really would, Calvin. I'm not joking. <laughs> that might be hard to resist. <laughs> <laughs> you two have a weird connection. We do, don't we? I mean, I guess it's because I finally have someone in my life to have a mature conversation with. I really miss that. Boy, I know you aren't dissing me in front of my sister. Tell me you're... Is she always this dramatic? Surprisingly, she's more dramatic than this. She must be taking it easy on you. <laughs> Seriously, Yvette, can I date you instead of Rihanna, please? You're tempting me. <laughs> Ooh, that's rock hard. <laughs> yeah, I'll work out. I sense that. What the hell is going on here? We're flirting, honey. Give us some space. Do this in peace, please. Yeah, go talk to Daniel. He seems like a guy that has similar interests as you. Oh, somebody's about to get slapped. <laughs> Not in my house, they aren't. Back off, sis. I want to feel Calvin's biceps. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I said, oh, yeah, I heard you the first time. I'm just choosing to ignore you. Yvette's getting along with Calvin. I'm glad. Maybe he can date her instead of me. Please say there's hope of that. By getting on, I mean he's coming on to her. Like the way you creepily do when you want sex from her or when you've spent her rent money on magic beans. Uh, it's not magic beans. It's a hoverboard prototype. Get it right, people. So you're just fine with Yvette flirting with Calvin? Uh, yeah, I am. I love it when men flirt with her. It means I don't have to do it. What if they fall madly in love? Well, then she leaves me, and I'm happier. There's no downside to this story. What about the fact that I like him? Mm, it didn't sound like it 12 minutes ago. What's changed? Well, it's the fact that people find him attractive. I like the game of chasing people who are captivating to others. <laughs> well, good luck defeating Yvette. She likes to get strong grips on the people she likes. It's frightening. She's not getting my man. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. She's not. Yeah, well, do something about it then. I fucking will. <laughs> I love winding her up. Like my Yvette could be attracted to another guy. I mean, I'm Prince Charming for God's sakes. Look at me. Uh, damn it, I gotta stand on my shirt. Eh, my bae like I'm dirty. No, no, that happened with her last boyfriend. So they're on the Ferris wheel and it gets stuck and she needs the bathrobe. <laughs> I, I know where this is going. We all do. Would you mind changing the subject and not embarrassing me? You know what? I'll tell you the story another time. It has a surprise ending, which involves Daniel's head. <laughs> My God. <laughs> I definitely get the gist of where it's going. And I definitely want to hear more on it. I'm desperate for more. Hey, babe. I was wondering, do you want to do something fun? Like? Like we could go for a walk. That's fun to you? Damn, you're boring. Says a woman who knits gloves for herself. So what do you say, Calvin? Well, you weren't bothered about going out with me earlier. What changed? Nothing. I just, I miss you. Yeah, we ain't buying it. Well, no one was asking you. That's a bit rude, Bree. <sighs> I'm sorry. That's not my goal. I just want us to be together alone. Calvin, do you want me to make you that pasta dish you like? Or you and I could head somewhere and be alone. If you catch my drift, hint, hint. Why is she winking like that at me? I don't know. But what I do know is it's creepy. Nightmares might be coming for you later. <laughs> right? I'd appreciate it if you didn't talk about me like I wasn't here. Girl, you talk trash about my boo when he's here in the room. I can do that with you. Yeah, and who's your current boo? Make me that pasta thing and I'll raise my hand up to volunteer for that role. <laughs> my man! <laughs> okay, are you two trying to start something? <laughs> no, that's the most stupid thing I've ever heard. That being said, I'd consider it if those cars were left on the table. <laughs> I love you. Hey, why are you laughing so hard? Because your girlfriend's trying to hit on my boyfriend. Is this true? 
I'm not denying or confirming anything. Wow, so I could lose you today? Well, hey, let's order some fireworks and celebrate. This is the best day of my life. Thank you, Yvette. You won't regret this decision. I'm going to make sure every day I'm away from you is the happiest day of my life. Thank you. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so, so <laughs> weird. <laughs> <gasps> What do you want? I'm busy. Brianna tells me you've been flirting with Calvin, and I'm very, very much interested to know how I can cheer you on to continue doing it. Ha ha. I'm serious. Please date him instead of me. I'll pay you. Come on, how much, woman? I'm desperate. <laughs> I'm not gonna date him, and you're a dummy. Well, I know I am, so... What's your point? Oh, jeez. Come on, he's way better for you than I'll ever want to be. I mean that with every fiber of my body. I said no. Okay, then at least tell me why you're flirting with him. It's not important. Uh, yes it is. It's driving your sister crazy, and I need to work out the mechanism of it, so I can do it to you. <sighs> if I tell you, you can't pass it on to Brianna. Is that understood? I promise I won't, I think. I don't know, I say a lot of hokum for you to know not to trust me. Brianna and Calvin are perfect together, but Brianna wanted to throw him away. So you snapped? <gasps> I am so attracted to you right now. Okay, keep that motor running. We'll need it for later on. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get the good stuff. So, anyway, Brianna's gone out with 30 different men this year, and it's only April. I'm so sick of her wasting her life on men who don't care for her. And you think Calvin cares for her? Yes, but she's too stupid to realize that. Hmm, wow, my eyes are sleepy. <clears throat> Thunder! That's a code name I say to get me to wake up when one of your schemes is in motion. <laughs> okay, I'm awake now. Listen, I get the plan, but why flirt with Calvin? I'm flirting with Calvin to make Brianna jealous so she'll appreciate what she has in Calvin. Plus, you know me, I'm fantasizing about getting my dream man. <laughs> Flirting helps. Uh, isn't that a bit, oh, I don't know, pathetic? Honey, you've been shirtless for the last 10 minutes in front of a stranger. You have Cupid tattooed on your left breast and you think, I'm pathetic. Well, you must be to still be dating me. Huh, that's the most sensible thing you've said. I've been praying you'd get to this moment for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Look, will you just talk up Calvin to Brianna so when I reveal I'm not going to pursue him, she desperately wants him. Got it. Hang on. You know, before I leave, you know I'd allow you to leave me for Calvin. It's not happening. Well, at least consider it. Nope. <sighs> People. What are you doing? Nothing. Mind your business. There's nothing wrong with that light fixture. I know that. So, what are you doing? I want to fall off the ladder so Calvin will come to my aid. Hmm. Well, it's decided. I'm the smartest person in this house today. Wait, before your plan, can I get some popcorn so I can enjoy this? Just make sure no one comes in before I get into position. Hey, can you make a quick will so I get the share of this house when you die? I'm not gonna... Ah! Oh! What the hell happened? Um, did she... Daniel pushed me off the ladder. Bro, you pushed her? Yes. I, I didn't. Why were you on the ladder? Daniel asked me to help change the light bulb because he wasn't tall enough and then he just pushed me. I'm hurt so bad. There's a scrape on your knee, but we should patch you up. Actually, I, I think... Sis, I need his help. Jeez. Come on, let me take you to the sofa. Thank you. Bro, you should be ashamed of yourself. And you know what? After I've helped her, I'm calling this in. My bro works as a police officer. Oh, okay, okay. Let's all calm down. I'm sorry, Yvette, but what he did is fucked up. It really is. You should be ashamed. I didn't do it! 
do it. So what the hell happened? Let me fill you in. Rihanna was trying to get Calvin away from you, Yvette. He's always been a liar. I think he's a con man. I wouldn't trust that Daniel is his real name. After what he did, I wouldn't trust anything from his lips. Are you lying to me, Daniel? No, and actually, you're the one lying here. You're not really interested in Calvin. <gasps> That's absurd! You're just making it look like you are so you can make Brianna crazy enough to fall for him. Okay, he's actually right. So this is true? Uh, yeah, it is. He's right. Look, I only did it because you never just take a step back to realize what good things you have. I do. No, whenever something or someone enters your life, you're quick to throw them away like trash. And I didn't think Calvin deserved to be thrown away. Oh, <sighs> this is a fucked up family. Uh, but we can say it. You can't. How could you do this to me? So all the jokes I told you, Yvette? I really didn't care for them, and some of them were kind of sexist. But I knew Brianna would have liked them because she's childish and immature, like you both are. That's right. She only cares for jokes said by her man. And sadly, that's me. Look, Calvin, I'm sorry this happened, but I really like you. Yeah, I don't think I'll like you back. What? You've been irritating me all day. Plus, your personality sucks. Hey, now. And once again, we can say that because we know her, but you can't. And this family? <laughs> it's sort of... Oh, okay. Show yourself out, please. Look. Yvette, the only person I liked in this circle was you. I feel like I had a real connection with you, so if... The door is behind you. Fine. Brianna, it has not been a pleasure. Honey, I am so sorry. Don't speak to me ever again. Hey, sorry I can't make it to the phone. Call me back when I can. Peace. Still not answering? Nope, and I'm getting worried. It's been three days now, and she should have gotten over it by now. Yeah, but then again, it was kind of shitty what you did. Yeah, it was, but... And, you know, if I remembered it better, I'll berate you even stronger than I am now. You know, I can't be asked to. Where the hell have you been? I've been worried sick. You could have been... Well, I'm not. I'm fine. You look happy. That's because I am. Don't tell me you went to a bar and hooked up with another guy. No, I didn't. So where the hell have you been? I've been with Calvin. Oh, why? Because when I left here the other day, I realized what you were saying was right. Yvette was right? I knew this day would come when you admitted that. Oh, I'm getting emotional. Where are the tissues? I didn't give Calvin a proper chance to be with me. My first thought was to bed him, when it should have been to get to know him better. Oh, good. Yeah, so for that, I'm sorry. I'm glad you've had a long time to think about it. So will you date Calvin more? Yeah, he's in the car and he wants to take us out for dinner tonight. As long as it isn't dinner at a vet's restaurant, my stomach can't take it anymore. At this point, it just wants to die. What? I'm sorry, honey. I just can't. We haven't booked anywhere yet. We'll be there. But only if it isn't. Shut up. Well, that's me told. They're taking a suspiciously long time to come out of the bathroom. Yeah, they are. Oh, hang on. But they're totally having sex. Oh, God. Sorry that it took too long, but I, uh, <clears throat> had to be thorough. About? Oh, come on. You know, we're all adults. You're sick! Yeah, but maybe we should copy them? Yeah, you should. But don't go into the men's toilet to do that. There's a guy in there having difficulty. We're not doing it. Well, I'm game. No. <clears throat> uh, excuse us. He forgot to do something. We are so missing out. Why am I with you? Huh. I don't know. I don't think I'll ever do. Huh. I love us. <laughs> <laughs>